We're looking at an interactive demonstration here to give us a sense of how different values affect the mean and the median. This is a number line ranging from 0 to 400. Each of these red dots is a value and those values are listed here below. Notice that I have set it up so that most of the dots are right here in the middle and that as you go in either direction the dots become fewer and more spread out. The mean for this data set here is 293.86 and the median is 293. Note that the mean and median are fairly similar. That's because these data points are fairly symmetrical around the mean right here. What happens if we take one of these data points and we make it into an outlier? So we'll take this point B and drag it from being 202 all the way down to 0. Notice as I'm moving it, the mean up above is shifting to the left. That is, this outlier is affecting it, but the median is unaffected because the median is always the middle value. There are one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Seven values and the fourth value, one, two, three, four, is right there in the middle. So no matter where I move this value on the far left, it's not going to affect the median. Okay, what if I had two values that were outliers? So we'll go ahead and take the leftmost values and bring them pretty close to zero. Now look, now we have a mean that is pointing at an area on the number line where there is absolutely no values at all. Our median is still pointing where you can see some values. When there are outliers, rather than reporting the mean, which doesn't tend to correspond to any actual values, people tend to instead report the median. It would probably be a good idea also to report what your two outliers are so that people have a better sense of what the data set looks like. Remember, you could just report every single value in the data set. But let's say we had a thousand values in the data set. That's no longer possible, or at least readily doable. Instead, we want to summarize with one of our measures of central tendency, the mean or the median. If we have the outliers, the mean won't be a good one to report since it's pointing to nothing. The median instead would be the better bet. And if you do have those outliers, always good to let your reader know what those values were. You'd probably want to know also. All right, well, come play with this outlet, applet, move these dots around, and check it out and see what affects the mean and the median.